the way, like I say, you take that Concord or Harlem and Wolf bullshit and you get that off my fucking building. Harlem and Wolf had nothing to do with White Star Lines. The Irish would tell you that themselves. They were there. So you get that fucking sign off my building. And you take it down, you take it outside, and burn it. I think I've told them to do that at least three or four times. Get a wrench. Take it down. I don't know who the fuck put Harlem and Wolf on my fucking building, but you take that down. Uh, they had nothing to do with White Star Lines. Arr. It angers me. Okay? Harlem and Wolf was a black thing and had nothing to do with me. They were scrappers. They stole a bunch of gold and ran off. And I don't really care. Anyway, so you get that shit off my building and burn everything that says Harlem and Wolf on it. It has nothing to do with White Star Lines. And it's Lucifer White Star Lines. So anyway, Harlem Wolf is, and my people will be a plague onto this world. Shut up, Papa. <laughs> Some pathetic loser bloods and curts black guy. I'm not racist. He's just a piece of shit. Anyway. He was a plague onto this planet and world. Now he's 80 and annoying. Still probably being a plague onto this world. Only lesser. Spent his whole life trying to bring down the black race. Well, actually, he was trying to take, take down the white race, but he really mostly just took, out the, took down the black race, I think. So, anyway, as he was turning the black race against the white race or some shit like that, I don't know. I said, talk to Papa. Just walk around until you hear a guy, an old guy going, A bleak under this world! Yeah, that's the Bloods and the Crips leader. His name is Papa or some shit like that. Ask Madonna about him. Papa, I don't know. Anyway, probably that guy. So ask Madonna where Papa is or when she met Papa. And uh, yeah, that's a black guy. He's a plague under the world. Only now he's a plague with a cane. At least he finally needs it. He used to walk around like Big Pippin with white, with white fur coats. He used, to, he used to wear a black guy, white fur coats. He used to be slinging cocaine around Warsaw or someplace like that. Silver cane, black. I described him to, 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 the, to, the, uh, to, to the Irish people. I was like, white fur coat, black guy, uh, silver cane, lion's head on top with like a point on the bottom, black cane, I think. Maybe gold. And, uh, and the Irish went, oh, papa. We know who you're talking about. It's like, oh, is that his name? So I described him to, to, to the Irish, and they're like, oh, yeah, we know that guy. So anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, he was really annoying. So even the Irish said he was really annoying. So anyway, yeah, he's some black guy. Anyway, uh, he used to, was, was importing opium as fertilizer or some shit like that. So anyway, yeah. So... Anyway, yeah, he, I think he was trying to cover bomb a bunch of cities or trying to get warheads or something like that. And the Bloods and the Crips were mistakenly backing him or for some stupid reason or something like that. Anyway, anyway, to the Bloods and the Crips, he was like, I'm helping you guys, I'm helping you guys. And to the rest of the world, he was, A plague unto this world! I will bring the Black Plague! And it's like... Okay, he's strange. You know, so that was basically Papa. Pretty much that. The plague onto this world, black plague, bloods and crypts and stuff, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, you have to ask them. Ask the bloods and the crypts about their leader. So, yeah. Some guy named Papa, I think. Plague onto this world, ring a bell. Maybe. So, yeah. So, yeah, he was like, shot caller.
Can I look any more stupid? <laughs> yeah, it was like shot collar for the for, for the Bloods and the Crips and leading the Black Race and stuff. And I don't know, probably with his other Black Council. So anyway, a bunch of like I said, they found him inside this really rich building. A bunch of fat fat Black people eating chicken and like dipping it in lard. The, the 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 Irish snuck up on on, on the building. They um, I had my Irish people looking into it, you know, about the black problem and everything else like that. And so they said, yeah, they're in there. <clears throat> they're dipping their 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 their, their, their fried chicken and or their, their their chicken in in lard. And they're they look like look like they're about like the three or four hundred pounds. So yeah, my Irish were up there. My, 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 my Irish, my people from Ireland, you know, my, my soldiers from Ireland were like, you know, they, they went to go check in on Papa and the Black Plague problem and the Black problem. And they're like, yeah, they're like four or five black people and they're, they're about like three or four hundred pounds and they're, they're, uh, they're, they're dipping their, 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 their steak and meat and, and lard. Do you think we should take them out or just put them in jail? <laughs> or they might have said that. I don't know. So yeah, you know, I mean, I had my people. You know, I owned, I owned Ireland, and well, I owned uh, uh, Belfast, and you know, it was LS and LC shipyard and stuff. And so I was wondering about who the problem of the carpet bombing and the black problem was, and you know, and they said Papa or something like that, and black people, and they finally found these black people. There were all like twenty of them in there, you know, around this big table. Looked to be about three or four hundred pounds each. You know, all covered in gold and stuff, and you know, I don't know. Well, meanwhile, people are starving in Africa and stuff. So, anyway, though, so the Irish were taking care of it. My Irish people, like I said, Ireland. I, I loved Ireland. I miss them so much. You know, I mean, they had soldiers and everything like that. So, anyway, so I had them taking care of a few problems for me, so... And the Irish, one of those groups, they like to just take care of problems. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I'm Lucifer Star, you know, White Star Lines and basically the epic human creator. So anyway, so yeah, I had some things going on. So might as well tell you about it. So I don't know, ask the, ask the Irish people about what they were doing and stuff. You know, I mean, I had, it, it was well, Lucifer, it was White Star Lines company, basically. So I had all my different people and... And, well, you know, we were cleaning up the mess. You know, just dealing with a few people that were causing problems, as they say. So, anyway, yeah. So, I wasn't necessarily... The White House was supposed to be underneath my underneath my command and all that. But, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, basically, the black people were supporting JFK or something like that. And then once he got in there, he was trying to help out. He was helping out the black people and blah, blah, blah. And it was like the white white black race thing or whatever that was connected to JFK, Kennedy, Nixon and all that stuff. So, yeah, he met we 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 kind of went <laughs> you know, kind of you know, we hit this little like sticking point where we were like you know, and then of course there was uh, Rasputin and stuff like that where I was like good damn. You know, like like little points in history where I was like what the fuck is the problem here? <laughs> you know? And so, you know, I mean, a lot of people would look back in history and maybe even laugh because it's like, oh yeah, it was just that guy. It was just this guy, you know, and so it's like, yeah, we had a few sticking problems in time and space and history. And we were like, you know, and, and then of course there's a few saints, saints running around and then, you know, and stuff like that or some other stuff going on, you know, and, and like I said, I'm really careful about, you know, mm, Hmm. That guy. You know, I mean, it's a collective. <laughs> the Irish people be like, it's a collective, you know. It's like, yeah, it's a collective, you know. I'm your I'm your creator and leader and you know, and it's all of us together. Families, women, children, you know. Just people where we all move together, we all move as a group. So anyway, so that's what was going on. So yeah. So anyway, yeah, so White Star Lines, Belfast, Irishmen, you know, and then later on, like I say, 
um, we were pulling out of, of Europe and moving over to America. And, uh, and so it was Lucifer White Star Lines in America. <laughs> Advance! You know, I always felt like I was a little dog or a little, or a person with a flag, you know, on top of the tanks because I invented them. So, so anyway, kind of a mascot a little bit because, you know, I mean, I'm so old and so powerful and everything else. And, but, you know, I mean, I never let it get to my head, you know, I mean, you know, and, and I included my Irish, like, like I said, a lot of Ireland, uh, Ireland people, I believe got free passage aboard any white star line ship or something like that, where they could go. You know, you know, if you work for me, you you could you could you could get a free ride in uh, steerage or whatever or something like that. You know, cargo or something like that. You know, I was trying to include or you know, even you know or, or discount tickets basically. Same system we use today basically. You know, um, discount tickets for employees and stuff like that. Benefits for working for the company and all that. It's just that you know I got so big. You know, I mean, it's like I was, you know, I was worldwide very quickly. You know, because. Everybody loved me. Everybody loved my ships. Everybody loved my twin towers and my my. They all loved my. They loved everything about me. So, you know, and I was able to bring, bring to the table a lot. You know, exoskeletons, one point fives, other life forms. You know, other epic empires. So, you know, and it's just a nice big long connection thing, where it's like, well, you're with your you're with the creator. So. So anyway, so everything went along as as they say swimmingly, you know. I mean, at least you know Europe, and then you know the only problem was was when I when we built America, you know, and then we let JFK or Nixon in there, and then that, you know, I, I, free will, free choice. Anyway, so yeah, so that's basically what happened and why it happened. So mm, you know, and I don't know. So whatever. Don't know what to tell you. And maybe that was kind of my fault. I don't know. But anyway, whatever. <laughs>